Very good afternoon, all of you. Hope you all are doing good. May God bless you all. Welcome to Commerce first year class. The last three classes, we have started doing problems on final accounts, which is a 20 marker in your IP exam, right? And what does final accounts comprises of? It comprises of trading account, P&L account, and balance sheet. Okay, so yesterday we did Sixth problem. Yesterday we did up to six problem with five to six adjustments, which I'm telling you again and again are expected in exam. Okay. Now let us go to question number seven. Before we start, we'll draw the format for trading account, P and L account, and then the balance sheet. Okay. So this is the format for let us say trading account. Then we have our P and L account here. Right. So this is our trading account. Name of the firm is given, you see. Prepare final accounts of Pawan Enterprises. So trading account of Pawan Enterprises for the year ending. Similarly, profit and loss account of common enterprises for the year ending, right? Particulars amount, particulars amount. We are preparing trading PL accounts simultaneously. And then in the next phase, we'll prepare balance sheet. Let us look at the adjustments first. Closing stock, depreciation on motor van, reserve for bad debts, reserve and provision are one and the same. Outstanding rent, prepaid insurance, create a provision for discount on credit hours. This is a new adjustment, but then we don't expect this till it is there. So I'm taking up this question and we'll solve it. Okay, and okay, Salvi, the first item given in trial balance is rent. Rent is a P and L item. Rent is a P and L item. So I'm taking rent and taxes, debit side of P and L account, rent and taxes. Okay, we have 1500. I am taking this amount in the inner column because we have an adjustment on this. Next, we have purchases. Purchases we take on the debit side of trading account. Purchases are given as 9,000, right? I'm writing the amount in the inner column because purchase returns are given on the credit side. Then we have wages. We have wages 900. Wages 900. Okay, then we have carriage. Simply carriage is given. It means it is carriage inward. The carriage can be either on purchase or it can be on sale. If it is carriage inward, it is on purchase taken to trading account. If it is carriage outward, it is on sale taken to P&L account. But if only carriages are given, then those are the carriage on purchases. We'll take it to trading account. So two carriage, two carriage, the amount is 500. Then opening stock, opening stock, trading debit side, first item, two opening stock, 3,200. 
Then we have commission. Commission is a P and L item. Commission is a P and L item. What is the amount given? It is 700. Then bills receivable. Bills receivable is a asset. Bills receivable is a asset. Freight. If only freight is given, it is taken to trading account. Again, like carriage, freight also can be inward or outward. That is freight on purchase or freight on sale. If it is inward, we'll take it to trading account. If it is outward, we'll take it to p and account. But if only freight is given, we take it to trading account, to freight, freight, cartage, carriage, or similar items. Freight is given as 500. Then oil and fuel, it is expense related to factory. Oil, fuel, coal, gas, water, all these are the items related or expenses incurred in a factory. As I told you, expenses incurred in a factory are taken to trading account. Then we have motor van. Motor van is a asset. It will go to balance sheet. Then we have patents. Patents again are a asset. Patents are a intangible assets. That are asset. Cash, asset. Accrued interest, it is also asset. Accrued is, we have earned, but we have, it is not due or we have not received. We have earned the interest, but it is not due. So we, it is our asset. Insurance, okay. Insurance is a p and item. I'll take here. To insurance, and the amount is one thousand. I'm writing it in your column because we have an adjustment on that prepaid insurance. Then sales, sales are ten thousand eight hundred. We did not come across returns. If returns are there, those will appear on the debit side only. On the debit side, we did not have any returns. So these are net figures. Creditor, creditor are a liability. Then reserve for bad and doubtful debt. Reserve for bad and doubtful debt. Reserve for bad and doubtful debt. It is given in trial balance on the credit side. It is given on credit side of p and account. Now, I'll tell one simple trick here. All this while, when we were doing problems, we were creating a provision and we're taking it on the debit side as it was given in adjustment. Okay, what, see in this case, we have reserve in the adjustment as well as we have reserve in the trial balance also. In the trial balance, it is given on the credit side. That is the old reserve. That is the old provision. And the one which is given in adjustment is the new reserve or new provision. So what is the treatment? I'll tell you one short trick. If reserve for bad debts, or provision for bad debts. If it is given, if it is given in trial balance, if it is given in trial balance, of course, he'll give on the credit side only. Then you also take it on the credit side of the end account. If provision for bad debts or reserve for bad debt is given in trial balance, you take it to credit side of P&L account and the provision which we have to create as an adjustment, reserve for bad debt, if it is in adjustment, if it is in adjustment, then take it to P&L account, debit side. Okay, so as I told you, the provision given in trial balance is the old provision and the provision what we are creating is the new provision. Old provision on the credit side of P&L account, new provision on the debit side of P&L account. Okay, so here also provision is given, no? That is the old provision, take it to the credit side of P&L account. By reserve for bad debt, old. How much it is? It is 200. It is 200. Then purchase returns. Purchase returns, we deduct from purchases. Purchase return, we deduct from purchases, 800. 800. So what is the net figure? 7,200. <coughs> then we have 
miscellaneous expenses or income sorry miscellaneous income miscellaneous incomes means there are certain incomes which we cannot place under proper head such incomes are called as miscellaneous incomes will take it as indirect income in the p and l account credit side then again we have commission commission you see it was given on the debit side as well as credit side the one we have taken on the debit side is commission paid and the one i am taking on the credit side is the commission received okay if commission is received we take it on the credit side if commission is paid we take it on the debit side okay done now trial balance items i have taken on now let us come to adjustment closing stock closing stock once will come in trading account and then we'll take in balance sheet asset side depreciation on motor van what is the value of motor van given 5000 on that 5% depreciation is to be taken that depreciation amount on motor van motor van is given as 5000 on that we have to provide depreciation of 5% so this i'll take here as 250 then this 250 will be deducted from 5000 in the asset side then we have reserve for bad debt 6% this is a new reserve already we have taken one reserve here i told you this is a old reserve now we are creating one more reserve for bad debt at at what percent at 6% at 6% on data what is the value of data is given data are given as 10000 so i'll take 6% on 10000 that is 600 see here this is the new provision we have created this is the new reserve we have created and this is the old provision given in the trial balance credit side then outstanding rent outstanding rent we will add to rent and then we will show it as a liability outstanding rent we will add to rent and show it as a liability prepaid insurance we deduct from insurance and show it as a asset prepaid insurance how much it is 300 300 700 is the net figure and then we have create reserve for discount on creditor like we have created provision for discount uh, data we have to create provision for discount on creditors what is the creditors value given 3500 this item will come on the credit side by reserve for discount on creditor how much 3% on creditor 3% on 3500 it will be 105 right now we are done with all the items related to trading account pnl account okay from the trial balance as well as from the balance sheet now let us close and see what are the results of these two accounts trading credit side total is 17600 And debit side three two seven two ten four ten four eleven four twelve three thirteen thousand one hundred. See what is the profit? It is four thousand five hundred. We are getting the profit. What we are getting is four thousand five hundred seventeen six three ten four eleven four. Twelve three fifteen one yeah six minus and five seven minus and four four thousand five hundred but the one given is three thousand five hundred sales are ten thousand eight hundred yeah purchase returns eight hundred okay that is eight thousand two hundred so this will be. Fourteen thousand one hundred. 
So our net result will be 3,500. So 3,500 is the gross profit. This is the gross profit carried down to E&L account. Okay, the total is 17,600. 17,600. Now, this profit will show in our P&L account. By gross profit brought down 3,500. Okay, now close this. See the total? P&L account total, you see, 35, 37, 39, 49, 4953 53, 5, 3, 5, 3, 5, 5, Credit side total is 5405. P&L account credit side total is 5405. What is on the debit side? 2734. Three four four two seven three four four thousand two fifty four thousand two fifty. So five four one 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 four five one one four five is the net profit what we are getting. So one one four five we are getting net profit is how much? One one four five two net profit carried down to balance sheet. 5405. Okay. 5, 5, 5. 11, 5, 5. 11, 5, 5. 1155. 5, 5, 5. Okay. Now let us take the balance sheet. Let us take the balance sheet and see. What are the items we'll take in balance sheet? Balance sheet of Pawan Enterprises as on, right? As on. For trading and PNL, we write for the year ended on, and for balance sheet, we write as on, right? Then this is the liability side. This is the asset side, right? So now let us see what are the items we have not taken. While preparing trading and PL account, those items will take here. Okay. So, what are the items we did not take? See on the debit side of trial balance rent, purchase, wages, carriage, opening stock, commission, bills receivable. Bills receivable is a asset. Bills receivable is a asset. 2300. Then, Freight, oil, motor van. Motor van is a fixed asset. Motor van, the value given is 5,000. We have depreciation, we will deduct. Then patents. Patents are also asset. Patents are intangible asset, 2,000. Then we have data. Data are 10,000. I'll write in the inner column. We have an adjustment on that. Cash. Cash is an asset, 1,000. Accrued interest, I told you it is also asset. Accrued interest means 
this is the interest which we have earned but it is not due or but it is not received then credit side creditors creditors are a liability creditors are a liability 3500 then capital 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 is 22000 capital is 22000 okay so we have taken all the items which are related to balance sheet from trial balance now coming to adjustment closing stock closing stock is a asset once we will take it in trading account credit side now we are on the asset side motor van is depreciated by 5% we have provided depreciation on this at the rate of 5% that is how much 250 so deduct and write 4750 Reserve for bad debts we have created, and we have written on the debit side of P&L account. Reserve for bad debts. This is the new reserve. How much did we get? We got six hundred. See this. That six hundred we have to deduct and write. So it would be nine thousand four hundred. Then outstanding rent. Outstanding rent is a liability. Outstanding rent is a liability five hundred. prepaid insurance prepaid insurance is a asset prepaid insurance is a asset 300 create 3% reserve on discount on creditors right discount on creditors are 3500 okay discount on creditors we have created so creditors 3500 minus Discount on creditors. That is, we created one not five rupees discount. Deduct and write three thousand three hundred and ninety five. Okay, so done. Now capital is twenty two thousand. What do we add? We add net profit. What was the net profit we got? Eleven fifty five. Add it twenty three one fifty five. Take the total. Take the total on both the asset side and liability side. We'll see whether it agrees or not. So, twenty-three, twenty-six. Outstanding rent is how much? Outstanding rent is five hundred. Okay, five four zero one five one six nine ten zero one. Twenty-seven thousand fifty is the total. Here you see two, six, eight, ten, nine, nine, zero, eighteen, zero, eighteen, four, nineteen, four, nineteen, nine, nineteen, nine, twenty-five, nine. Yeah, seven zero. Okay, done. Right. We'll take one more problem. We had one adjustment that was reserved for discount on creditor, but it is least expected since it was there. We did it. Okay. Then again, let us take. Question number twelve. Question number twelve. Or I'm taking question number twenty, which is the last problem. why i am choosing this because the adjustment given in these this problem are the ones which are expected in exam the rest though they are there in the syllabus but we don't expect such adjustment so i thought better we'll practice only those which will appear in the exam okay so i'm taking question number 20 from the trial balance of mr satyam traders prepaid trading pnl account and balance sheet okay what are the adjustments closing stock outstanding salary depreciation on machinery prepaid insurance and provision for bad debts okay 
Before we start, let us prepare our trading P&L account format. Trading account of Satyam traders for the year ended on profit and loss accounts of Satyam traders for the year ended on particulars amount, particulars amount. I am doing question number 20. Okay, question number 20. See what are the items in trial balance? In trial balance, we have purchases. Purchases will go to Debit side of trading account to purchases, right? Amount is 75,000. Then sales returns. Sales return we take on the credit side. We deduct from sales. Sales return given on the debit side is 3,200. Let us see later. Wages. No adjustment on wages. So I'll take directly wages in the outer column. Wages are 5,500. Salaries, salaries, no adjustment will directly take to PNL account in the outer column. Salaries are given as 23,000. Bank charges, they are also official expenses will take to PNL account. Bank charges, 1,500. Then insurance, insurance is given as 6,500. We have an adjustment. Prepaid insurance, I'm writing the amount in the inner column. Missionary asset, furniture asset, cash at bank asset, opening stock. Opening stock will go to trading account, 22,000. Then, bills receivable asset, debtors asset, audit fees, PNL debit side. Audit fees, I told you once, that is the amount paid to the auditor of the books. Then carriage, if only carriage is given, we take it to trading account as carriage on purchases. Carriage is given as 1800. Then factory rent, any expense related to factory goes to trading account, 800. Then carriage on sales, carriage on sales is a selling expense. It will go to p and L. Carriage on sales, 2,800. Office expenses. Office expenses, 5,300. Advertisements. Advertisement, 1,300. Okay. Then credit side capital. Capital will go to balance sheet. Sales. Sales we have. Sales we have 1 lakh. 47,500. Sales are 1,47,500. Credit are liability. Bank order of liability. Bills payable liability. Discount given on the credit side will come on the credit side of PNL account. How much it is? 1,600. Then interest on drawing. Interest on drawing is an income as the proprietor, when he makes drawing, what are drawing? Drawing is any amount which he takes for personal use. So he will pay interest. It's a notional expense, but let us say he's paying interest to the firm. Okay, so that is the income we take it to the credit side. Right? Now, coming to adjustments. Coming to adjustments. We have closing stock. Closing stock once will be taken in trading account and then in 
balance sheet, closing stock, 34,500, right? Then outstanding salaries, we add to salaries, we add to salaries and then take in liability side. The amount given was 23,000 and we have outstanding salary. I'm adding outstanding salaries. Outstanding salaries are how much? 5,500. So total salaries amount would be 28,500. 28,500. Okay. Then, depreciation on machinery, 5%. The value of machinery is given as 80,000 on that 5%. Depreciation on machinery. Depreciation on machinery, 5% of 80,000, that is 4,000, right? Then again, prepaid insurance, it is to be deducted from insurance. Prepaid insurance, 1500. So we'll take 5000 in the outer column. Then provide for bad debts. That is provision for bad debts. Provision for bad debt is created on data. Provision for bad debt is created on data. The value of data is given as 50,000. 5% on that. 5% on 50,000 is 2,500. Okay. So we are done with all the items given in trial balance and balance sheet. Okay. Now let us close trading account and p and account and I, I see what we arrive at. Here we have 1,47,000 minus 3,200. It will be 1,44,300. So what is the total we get here? If I close trading account here, what is the total I'll get? 800-4487. Credit side total is 1,78,800. And debit side we have 22, 97, 97, 100 and 1,12,500. Let us do the total here somewhere. 22,000 plus 75,000 is 97,000. 5, 5 plus 18. It is 73 and 8,100. 7 plus 8, 5, 1, 1 lakh, 5,100. The total is 1 lakh, 5,100. 1 lakh, 5,100. So 73,700 is the gross profit. 73,700 is the gross profit I am getting. So 73,700 will take to p and account here by gross profit brought down. By gross profit brought down. Now do the total of this. See the total on the credit side, 73,700 plus 16 plus this, that is 4,000. So the total is 77,700. The total on the credit side is 77,700. In PL account, the total on the credit side is 77,300. See what is the total on the debit side? 28,500 plus 1,500, it would be 30. 35, 37, 39, 39, 40,300, 45, 6, 45, 6, 49, 6, 
If I am not wrong, fifty-three thousand four hundred. So twenty-four thousand three hundred is the net profit what we got. Twenty-four thousand three hundred is the net profit. That somehow here the table is not permitting me. I'll write here to net profit carried down to balance sheet. How much it is? Twenty-four thousand. Twenty-four thousand three hundred. It is how much? Twenty-four thousand three hundred. Now let us prepare balance sheet. Let us prepare balance sheet. Balance sheet of. Satyam traders as on. Okay. This is liabilities amount assets amount. Okay. Now let us clean the trial balance and take all the items which are of. Capital nature in the balance sheet. From the debit side, purchase sales return salaries, bank insurance, machinery. Machinery is a asset. Machinery is given as eighty thousand. I am writing in the inner column because we have depreciation on that. Again, furniture. Furniture. Furniture is given as forty-five thousand. No depreciation. Direct in the outer column. Cash at bank. Cash at bank. Cash at bank is thirty-one thousand three hundred. Then opening stock and bill re bill receivable. Bills receivable twenty-nine thousand. Bills receivable twenty nine thousand. Debtors, debtors, we have a provision. I am writing in the inner column. We have created a provision of five percent. Then audit fees, carriage, factory rent, all done. The liability side we have capital. Capital is one lakh twenty thousand. To this we add net profit. Then we have creditors. Creditors are a current liability. Creditors we have sixty-two thousand. Then we have bank road rack that also is a current liability. So bank overdraft it is thirteen thousand. Then we have bills payable. Bills payable it is forty thousand. Right done. All the items. Of capital nature, we have taken. We have taken, right? Now coming to the adjustment, closing stock. Closing stock. It is thirty-four thousand five hundred. Outstanding salary. It's a liability. Outstanding salary is a liability. Five thousand five hundred. Depreciate machinery at what rate? At five percent. So we have created that we have already provided at the rate of five percent. It is four thousand, so seventy-six thousand. Then prepaid insurance is a asset. Prepaid insurance is a asset. How much? Fifteen hundred. Provide for bad debts five percent. I said. So we already have provided it. We have shown it in our P and L account also minus provision for bad debts. Two thousand five hundred. So we'll take forty-seven thousand five hundred on the asset side. And now we have to take net profit from our P&L account, which was twenty-four thousand three hundred. That net profit will add here twenty-four thousand three hundred. So one lakh forty-four thousand three hundred. See what is the total? 
ಬಾಯ್ ಲೇಟ್ ಆಯ್ತು